PopOS 20.04 is finally here, arguably one of the best Ubuntu based distros out there by System76. Hi everyone, this is Ankush from It's Foss, and in this video, I'm going to review the new features in PopOS 20.04. PopOS is my favorite Linux distro. I've been using the beta for about a week or so before the final release, and my experience has been great so far. Let me highlight some of the major new features in PopOS 20.04. One of the most interesting additions is the support for system tray icons, or also known as Ubuntu app indicators. It wasn't there on PopOS 19.10, but now it's here by default. Next, with PopOS 20.04, the window tiling feature comes baked in, and you don't have to fiddle around with a window tile manager like i3 to use it. You just have to enable it to get started. As you can see here, the window tiling feature looks very impressive. This feature is definitely encouraging me to upgrade my monitor to make the most out of it, but I think I can hold on for now. I really like this feature. The window resize works well, maybe not with all the apps installed, but with most of the stock apps, it works pretty great. Also, I must mention that you get the option to toggle the active hint option which lets you know which is the active window currently. This should come in handy for sure while you have the window tile feature enabled. Depending on your use case, the productivity of this feature might differ, but overall it's an impressive addition in this release. Of course, you can also try to add this functionality to your existing Linux distro if you want to try it out, but on PopOS it comes by default. Next, you will notice that PopShop, which is the software center on PopOS, has added the support for Flatpak through FlatHub by default. If you want, you can delete FlatHub as a source. While PopShop already has plenty of software available being regularly updated, the ability to choose between a Debian package or a Flatpak should be a useful option for users who wanted this. Here's that in action. You can also observe the estimated storage space that a flatpak package may occupy when you install something. This is definitely something handy. Next, with this release, you will also notice a new application switcher and launcher when you hit the keyboard shortcut of super key with forward slash. As you can see here, you just need to search for the program you want to head to or launch and with your keyboard, you will be able to achieve this without needing the input from your mouse. I don't really need this, but if you are comfortable with keyboard shortcuts and navigation, this should be a great feature to simply search for the app and head right into it. As usual, workspaces on PopOS is still a charm to use depending on how you arrange the apps or workspace, you can make it easier to navigate back and forth. Finally, talking about other improvements. Of course, improvements in the lock screen, notification center, and the overall look and feel should be better with the addition of GNOME 3.36. I've also linked down our article on GNOME 3.36 if you want to know more about it. Essential tasks like managing or accessing files work perfectly fine, and you can even tweak the options on file manager if you want. As you can see, the theme, the icons look pretty same and there is no change in that. But in addition to that, you can also get more details on your system from the about section of the settings. While I said PopOS 20.04 isn't a major visual overhaul from 19.10, at least I wanted a new wallpaper. Anyway, you still get the option to change the theme from dark to light, works like charm. You'll also observe numerous other options in the settings to control notifications, search, your privacy, and more. You will also be seeing some specific keyboard shortcut changes. For that, I've linked down the written review of PopOS 20.04 where I mention more details on it. You can find it in the video description down below. But so far, I'm impressed. Even the performance of PopOS 20.04 is good enough. Not to forget, the packages or programs like Firefox 
have been updated to the latest version available. In addition to that, other packages and applications which come pre-installed have also been updated to the latest versions. Among them, you will notice several useful applications pre-installed like GNOME Screenshot, Popsicle, Extensions app, Comic Book app, Contacts app, File Roller app, and much more. You should really explore it when you get it installed. Among them, my favorite would be the Extensions app. You can enable or disable extensions with the use of the Extensions app. You can even disable the Ubuntu app indicators if you don't need them using this Extensions app. Also, with Linux kernel 5.4 series, the XFAT support and the improved hardware compatibility should be a bonus in this release as well. Considering that PopOS is my daily driver, I really enjoyed the 20.0 for upgrade. Have you got the chance to try the latest PopOS 20.0 for LTS? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below.